Okay, hey, this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. <clears throat> this is going to be a real quick one. Um, I just wanted to follow up on this uh, electric fence install and uh, the philosophy that goes with it. So there it is. I told you I was going to put a piece of plywood on the wall, and I did. It's just OSB. And then my little fencer is on there. And then I ran some Romex over from the junction box there and put a plug there. And the reason I did that is because we don't really want to have an extension cord long term. We really want to have it, uh, you know, wired in properly and safely. And then while I was making some changes, I decided that I would put the water tank over here so that I could plug my water tank heater in. So I didn't have it plugged in last night and today's the first cold day that we're going to have of I think we got 10 of them coming and I'm talking 20 degrees. <clears throat> Not super cold but but for the year that we've had so far it's going to be cold to us. It's been very very warm. This is going to be a short video but I wanted to show here and I don't know how well this will come out but you can see I had to drive a ground post right there can you see that okay and that was just a piece of stainless steel pipe that I had laying around here and it was happened to be about six feet long so I drove that down <clears throat> now it's in the barn so generally you want to drive it into ground that is a little bit moist um, but you don't want the ground post to corrode because that will change the conductivity. So I use stainless steel. It always works good. It conducts electricity really well and it won't corrode. And I put it here. Now, my water tank is here. My heater is here. My electric fencer is here. And my ground post is here. <clears throat> so the trick will be <clears throat> to keep the ground around that ground post a little bit moist. Not real moist. Like you don't want to put it like where a downspout is. You just want it slightly moist. And so if I had it um, out on the back 40, I would have to go out there and get it wet once in a while. I mean, unless the ground is naturally really wet. And... Uh, the ground in here is not naturally wet, but where my water tank is here, and I can put water on that occasionally, or I can train the dog to urinate on that occasionally, and that would be perfect. Th the other thing that I did here that's kind of off subject was I have a room off the back of the house where we used to keep um, a bunch of equipment, and now we're changing it into something else, and it's going to be a bit bit more civilized so uh, I moved the dogs feeding stuff out here now I've told you that we don't normally buy them feed but sometimes like this time of the year we do I'm out of any kind of any any kind of other feed and I, I am not butchering at this point and they have to be fed all the stuff that they've buried if the grounds too hard for them to dig it up so I have to buy them some feed but wherever their feed is that is where the cats are, and we do have cats, and there's a reason for cats. I kind of like cats, but I wouldn't have them if I lived in an apartment, I can tell you that. The cats are here because mice are here, and the cats eat the mice, and I don't like the mice. I wouldn't have mice in an apartment or a house or any place else. I don't like mice, so that's why I have cats. But I don't want the cats in the back room of the house. So we put the feed out here, the dog's food, and now the dogs kind of own this area. So they're coming in here all the time. And, you know, Obi will kind of stake out on the food bowl here. Well, she's gotten used to them now, and the other ones are used to them. So it's kind of a nice little happy family. We all meet here in the morning to, uh, to milk Rosie and then fawn soon. 
We check our fence to make sure the fence is working. We check the water to make sure there's plenty and that it's ice free. And then we check our ground post to make sure it's got a little bit of moisture on it. So I can think of something else I could do when I get here in the morning. Probably have coffee before I leave and then I could, yeah. Well, okay, so this is it. This is pretty well set up. I got a little bench here that I can sit down and rest if I need to. Um, I've got the door on. I got to work on this roof, but I won't be doing that for a while. I'm going to do that in the spring, I think. I'm going to re-roof the whole barn in the spring. Okay.